Howdy friendos, Crazy Jason here, and uh, it's time yet again for another long overdue Blu-ray and DVD update. I've got a big stack here, um, but before I get started on that, I'm sure you've already noticed my awesome Wolf of Wall Street themed fun coupons t-shirt. Hey Crazy, where can I get this awesome fun coupons t-shirt? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly where. Follow the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the page, and you can order in a variety of sizes, different colors. I suggest gray, just because I think it looks cool, but whatever. Um, while you're there, check out the other movie and TV-themed t-shirts by the creator Casey. Um, I will also include her Twitter uh, account below. If you're on Twitter, hit her up and tell her that she has awesome t-shirt designs. Um, so, now, let's get right into the uh, DVD and Blu-ray update. I'm going to start off with uh, some uh, DVDs and some Blu-rays. Um, this first batch I picked up at a uh, new place in Greenville called Second and Charles. Uh, if you live in the southeast of the United States, uh, you may know of Second and Charles. Um, in Greenville, they took over the Books a Million space. If you're familiar with uh, what Books a Million was, at least. Um, I don't know if Books a Million just closed in Greenville or if they went bankrupt. But they, uh, in Greenville, at least, they had a very large space. And um, so if you know the size of a Books a Million, you can imagine this is a very large trade shop. Um, DVDs, Blu-rays, you know... Uh, fucking just a bunch of shit pop culture shit books tons of books of course um but uh basically they give you pretty good trade-in credit um a little bit better than fye uh, the only problem i have with the place is that it has the color scheme of a home depot so it makes me really anxious i get i get the sweaty palms and the heart palpitations um so it's not entirely an enjoyable experience. Like, they have a lot of cool shit in there. A lot of cool shit. But I feel like I'm standing in a place where I should be buying lumber. And those two things just don't go together in my soul. Okay, let me get started. Uh, I picked up a Criterion. This was only uh, 12 bucks used. Pick up on South Street. This is a uh, Samuel Fuller uh, film. As you may or may not know... Um, I'm split on Samuel Fuller. There are a lot of his movies I don't care for. Um, one of the problems I, ha I have with Samuel Fuller is uh, his sloppy camera work. I just, I don't, it's, it, you know, I know he's doing low-budget films, or he, he was doing low-budget films, um, but I just can't abide sloppy camera work. I'm sorry if I offended any Sam Fuller fans out there. But I'm looking forward to this. Uh, it's supposed to be a great film noir, and I love film noir. So, the next thing I picked up, Bogey and Bacall in the Big Sleep. Hey, crazy! Why did you buy this on DVD for eight dollars used? I don't know. A lapse of reason, because I'm standing in a store that feels like a lumber store. And uh, with DVDs and Blu-rays, and it confused my brain, and I just, I in a panic, I bought this. Uh, even though I can get the Blu-ray for the same price. Stupid, I'll be returning that or taking it back or something. Uh, the next thing, The Hand That Rots the Cradle. The ultimate in 90s thriller cheese right here, folks. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you like good cheese, if you like thrillers from the 90s, this is the one to get. Um, Rebecca De Mornay. Don't fuck with me, retard. One of the greatest lines in 90s cinema, in my opinion. Alright, next up we got a couple of Blu-rays from Second and Charles. Uh, first thing, for uh, $6, I picked up uh, The Getaway on Blu-ray. Confession time, I've never seen The Getaway. So let me know if it's worth, you know, even watching. The, uh, the other Blu-ray that I picked up is uh, U2's Rattle and Hum. This is one that I've been meaning to pick up for a long time. I know it's been out for a while on Blu-ray. Um, I'm a big U2 fan. 
and not so much recently, but definitely uh, Joshua Tree, Actoon Baby era, U2, uh, big fan of. So looking forward to that. Uh, the last thing I picked up at Second and Charles is uh, it was only $6, and I think it would make a nice display piece. And that's the Reservoir Dogs um, Gas Can 10 Edition. Uh, this came used. It's pretty good. It's got a small little dent on the back, which usually bothers me. But in this case, I thought it was okay because I intend on displaying it like this. And the front is perfect. All right. Next up. Um, this next movie, I intend on doing a dedicated review of. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it here. Um... And that would be the Black Stallion, finally on Blu-ray. And I gotta tell you, folks, I'm a little pissed off because this is yet another Blu-ray dump by Fox. Uh, this, uh, Fox has got a lot of the MGM old MGM catalog titles, and they just do a Blu-ray dump. There's no menu screen, there's no extras, um, and it looks like they put absolutely no effort into the transfer. And I'll... On the one hand, there's no over-processing to complain about. Um, everything is intact. It's very filmic. But it's just, they, they, they could have taken a little bit of time to clean uh, the image up a little bit. It's, it's not exactly the most pristine print. Um, that being said, I'm just happy to have it on Blu-ray, to be honest with you. It's been a long time coming. Um, I, I will do a separate review of this because um, it's deserving of it. It's really one of my most treasured movies. So, that's that. Uh, next up, Sling Blade. I just, you know, I was in, I think, Best Buy or Walmart, maybe, and I thought it was time. It's time for me to buy Sling Blade on Blu-ray. When I first saw Sling Blade, when it first came out, I had that, uh, you, know, it, you know, it was a powerful film. You know, it was just a really good film. And then over the years, um, I thought it was kind of silly. And then about seven or eight years ago, I had an epiphany that Sling Blade is one of the greatest comedies of the past 20 years. So go forth, watch Sling Blade. It's a great comedy. All right, next up, Hannibal, season one. For a network show... This is pretty damn good. Um, crazy gore effects, um, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, I, I love the, uh, the guy who plays Hannibal in this. He takes a little bit of getting used to coming off of Anthony Hopkins. Um, but he, he's good. Um, the stories are good. It, it's riveting. Um, there's some networky things in it um, that I won't get into, but... Uh, Overall, solid series. I have yet to delve into Season 2, um, but I plan on catching up sometime soon. Next up, the uh, remastered RoboCop, which I had to have. I absolutely love RoboCop, and this is another standalone review that I should do. Um, the picture is an improvement over the first release first release wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed it. It's just kind of, it was very grainy and dirty looking. Uh, they don't make hard R-rated action films like this anymore. Um, if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Um, I haven't seen the remake. I don't really care to. I guess when it comes to Redbox, I'll rent it. Um, but this is just hardcore Paul Verhoeven at his best. Um, and uh, what can I say? It's worth picking up. Uh, next up, I picked this up at Family Video. Uh, Family Video is slowly becoming uh, one of my favorite places to go, um, and that would be Prisoners, uh, what I thought to be one of the uh, best films of 2013, definitely in the top 10. Roger Deakins, who shot this, uh, I think he's been nominated 10 times and not one. Um, of course, he was up against Gravity this year, so that's understandable, but... Uh, Man, just the cinematography is one of the highlights of this film because it's, it's part of what creates the tension, um, especially for me uh, because 
the uh, it, this was shot in and around Atlanta, and I'm close enough to Atlanta. The landscape and the homes, the style of the homes, are just like the style of homes that are around me. So it was very creepy that way. It felt very close to home and real. Uh, so highly recommend Prisoners. Last thing, Ender's Game. The Target exclusive steelbook. Um, I haven't opened this yet. I saw it at the theater. Uh, my whole life, I've, ever since I was a kid, and I read Ender's Game at a very young age. And, um, I mean, I just loved that. I probably read that book ten times. I have to say, if, like me, you're a, uh, a fan of the book, then uh, you're, you're probably going to like the movie. Uh, the movie didn't blow me away, but at the same time, I couldn't find fault in it. It was a very good adaptation. Uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting it on Blu-ray. I haven't had the urge to unwrap it and actually watch it yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I, it, I don't think you could have asked for a better adaptation of that book. And yet, there's something missing from it. Of course, I need to revisit, like I said... So I'll reserve final judgment until I do that. Well, that's it, guys. Um, I have a couple of Blu-rays there that I want to do some separate videos, uh, separate review videos, get into depth a little bit more. Uh, but that'll do her once again. If you want the Fun Coupons t-shirt, follow the link below. Thanks for watching. I'm Crazy Jason, and I'll see you next time.